All right, we're here today with Mansell Washburn from South Bend Clutch. Mansell came down here to the good old Commonwealth of Kentucky to do some training for us on South Bend Clutch. Uh, and he also, we're going to do a series of videos, uh, give you guys some installation tips. We're going to talk about some of uh, some of the products that they offer, why they offer, what they offer, uh, and so on. But Mansell's a friend of mine. We've been doing business with uh, South Bend for a long, long time. We are a stocking distributor for South Bend Clutch. so. Uh, we take a lot of pride in our relationship with them and we also take a lot of pride in the products that they sell and as well they do too. So South Bend's newest product for the Dodges is the SDD3250-GORG. So this is a full organic street dual disc clutch. Now you guys hear a lot about street dual discs uh, nowadays. So we're kind of, is going to kind of talk about what makes this a street dual disc. He's also going to tell you why they went to a full organic street dual disc clutch and we're just going to kind of rap about everything that's in the clutch. So Mance will take it away bud. Well, like he was saying uh, you know our, our newest product is the full organic street dual disc. Organic material on both sides of the disc versus the standard street dual disc we originally came up with which is organic and ceramic. What started it was uh, a lot of people asking for full organic because they thought the original we made up was a little too aggressive and sometimes it could be especially backing up trailers. Well we finally gave in, put some out there, got a lot of good feedback and now they're out there and that's one of our most popular clutches. Um, one really nice thing about a full organic street dual disc is you can literally put this in a stock truck and not tell much of a difference at all. Um, the biggest thing they're used for would be, you know, people that aren't making a lot of horsepower but are towing really heavy, yeah. they're perfect for. Um, farmers that are hauling cattle, horses, they love them. Yeah. And we've seen such an explosion in street dual disc with the uh, with the release of the 6.7 Dodge motor. That motor is very, very torquey. And if you've just got tuning on the truck and you've got a standard shift, the stock clutch is not going to hold you. So that's why there's been such an explosion in these street dual discs because really a single disc is not even going to hold one of those trucks. Right. Uh, Mansell will tell you that it's, it's not going to hold one of these trucks even with light tuning on it. So, um, you know, this is really great. And you, a little bit of slippage with this too, backing up trailers it's going to be much less aggressive uh, yep. you're going to get better uh, well your pedal pressure is going to be the same so your, your clamp load on this is the same as what the more aggressive clutch is it is yeah. yep yeah um, so we'll kind of talk about some of the things that you're going to get inside of this kit um, I'm gonna let Mansell run you through through this and start out with the pressure plate here um, pressure plate 3250 clamp um, from from South Bend. Um, the flywheel comes with new pilot bearing yep. uh, as well. Uh, obviously your clutch disc and uh, tell us about the clutch disc, about the sprung hub on those Mansell, please. The, the sprung hub, what it, what it is, is it's, it's an oscillating center. And what that does is the whole center of this disc literally will oscillate back and forth. And what that oscillating does, that absorbs the spike of the engine. Um, everybody knows diesel engine doesn't move in one direction, it oscillates back and forth. And this particular clutch with the solid flywheel replaces the dual mass flywheel that comes in these trucks. All the spiking of that motor is what rips those flywheels apart. Doesn't rip this apart. Yeah. So the center of this clutch actually turns inside the disc. So the, the disc is actually rigid, it's static, it doesn't move, but the inside of this, the hub of this actually turns inside of this. That's you right. can see the springs of this, this is these are damp, it's this whole assembly is dampened, so this absorbs that. Yes. Uh, so you get both your clutch disc in the kit, yep. get your separator plate as well. Uh, Mansell is going to talk to you just a little bit about what they do differently on their separator plate that makes them quieter than the competition. Our center plates, what I'll do is uh, Kind of move the pressure plate here real quick. They drop down into the flywheel and they go over the, each ear goes over the dowel pins. Okay, it drops in just like that. Well, I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but you can see that moving. And just imagine that at 900 RPM. And that's the kind of noise that you may get when the clutch is released. But these neoprene slugs here dampen a lot of that center plate rattle. It's not going to dampen at 100%, but it does help tremendously. Yes. Um, You're going to have sound, but... You will get some, yes. And you know nearly. that kind of leads into one of our biggest phone calls that we get on this exact clutch. People will install the clutch and say, hey, my throwout bearing's bad. 99% of the time, it's not your throwout bearing. It is this center plate rattling inside the flywheel. 
One good thing about that tells you the clutch is released if you hear that. Yeah, and the G56 is notorious for gear rollover, so the whole yes, assembly it is, is going to be loud, and it, it's it's like a bullhorn. It, it's an too, aluminum so. casing full of hot metal parts, yep. and that's what happens. Absolutely. <laughs> um, inside the kit, you're also going to get a new throwout bearing. Yep. Uh, arm for the throwout bearing. New throwout bearing there. Arm for the throwout bearing. All of the hardware that you need. You're also going to get a new alignment tool that's going to come inside of the kit. Uh, for this. Now, we're going to talk just a little bit about hydraulics with these kits too. Now, you can order this kit. The, uh, the uh, organic kit part number comes with hydraulics. Yep. Uh, we suggest with the 6.7, uh, with any G56 truck that you change out the hydraulic, this automatically comes with the kit. Now, if you are replacing the clutch in here and you've already done a hydraulic upgrade on your truck, we do offer this without the hydraulics at a little bit lower price point. But you know what? It's a cheap, it's cheap insurance, isn't it? It comes with the, uh, you get the slave cylinder and the master cylinder. It's a pre-bled assembly, it's drop-in. It's good insurance, cheap insurance, and for sure we, we, we suggest you to put everything in new when you go for Always. It. So. Yep. Matt's Washburn, he is down here in Kentucky on week two of the NCAA tournament. So tonight we are going to go out and we are going to check out basketball, Michigan basketball, who is playing Texas A&M tonight. Uh, as an SEC fan, I am going to root for Michigan uh, because if I don't, Mansell said he's going to pinch my head off. So, Mansell, <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate hey, it. Thank we, you. We Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you got any questions, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you got any questions, let us know. Thank you.